Dorothy! Oh, look at Dorothy sitting in the TV room, laying on the couch. I'm telling these lazy dogs. Zeus, hey buddy, I love you. Mr. Trevor, Trevor, look at Daddy for the camera. Ooh, he's being aloof today. Okay. Trevor is being aloof, Zeus. What are we going to do with him? Okay, I'll do the next problem. Okay, buddy. All right. Here we go, guys. We have the question. Well, I've given you a function. f of x is equal to the cube root of x plus 7. And I want you to find its inverse. Okay. Step number one. If you'll recall from a previous video, step number one that I taught you, or in class that I taught you, for finding a formula for an inverse function. Write the original formula. So f of x is called y, because f of x is y. So I have my original formula. Now, step number two is to write the inverse formula. And the way I create that is by switching the roles of the x and y. Because remember, for an inverse function, well, inverse relation, but in this case it's also a function, your domain and your range interchange. So my inverse rule would be x equals the cube root of y plus 7. And now, when you're trying to find an inverse function, this new y, which is the inverse y, needs to be isolated. So what we need to do for step three is to solve for y. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take this equation, i.e. this formula, and remember the inverse operation to taking the cube root of something is cubing it. So what I do to one side of the equation, I do to the other, namely cube it. x to the third is simply that. And notice what happens on the right-hand side of my equation. The cube root function and the cubing function are inverses. That means what one does, the other one undoes. So y plus 7 simply remains all alone. The cube root and the cube have completely disappeared, leaving y plus 7 unaffected. My final step here to get y alone, of course, would be to subtract 7. I have x cubed minus 7 is equal to y. And remember what we're doing here. Remember that y is really f inverse. And the way I write that is f inverse of x. And I'm done. f inverse of x, which is my inverse formula, is x cubed minus 7. We're done. So remember, three steps. Write the original formula containing x and y. Create the inverse by switching the roles of the x and the y. X becomes Y, Y becomes X from the original formula. And my final step to be appropriate is to take the inverse formula we created and solve it for Y. And then that Y is then called F inverse of X. And we're done.